There's antimony, arsenic, aluminum, selenium, and hydrogen and oxygen and nitrogen and rhenium, and nickel, neodymium, neptunium, germanium, and iron, americium, ruthenium, uranium, europium, zirconium, lutetium, vanadium, and lanthanum, and osmium, and astatine, and radium, and gold, protactinium, and indium, and gallium, and iodine, and thorium, and thulium, and thallium. There's yttrium, ytterbium, actinium, rubidium, and boron, gadolinium, niobium, iridium, and strontium, and silicon, and silver, and samarium, and bismuth, bromine, lithium, beryllium, and barium. There's holmium and helium and hafnium and erbium and phosphorus and francium and fluorine and terbium and manganese and mercury and molybdenum and magnesium and dysprosium and scandium and cerium and cesium and lead praseodymium and platinum plutonium palladium promethium potassium polonium and tantalum technetium titanium tellurium and cadmium and calcium and chromium and curium. There's sulfur, californium, and fermium, berkelium, and also mendelevium, einsteinium, nobelium, and argon, krypton, neon, radon, xenon, zinc, and rhodium, and chlorine, carbon, cobalt, copper, tungsten, tin, and sodium. These are the only ones of which the news has come to Harvard. And there may be many others, but they haven't been discovered. Your old laptop, a new Chromebook. So why haven't you switched? One boots up as fast as six seconds, the other takes forever. One has built-in virus protection, the other should be quarantined. 